Welcome back to my channel. I want to give you a little update. Last month, I went to Philadelphia to pick up some an inverter, and I happened to meet Mike, who um, has a channel called Lithium Solar, which I've watched. I thought I watched all his videos, but no. But most of them I have watched. He doesn't do videos very much anymore. Very nice guy. Uh, I picked up uh, a Sun Gold Power. 12kW hybrid inverter from them, which I was excited about taking to Arizona and uh, hooking up there. So, uh, well, the main reason I went to uh, battery hookup and picked up a pallet of 12 batteries that I bought at an auction. Six of them were 100 amp hour batteries, um, 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries, and Two of them were 50 amp hour batteries, 12 volt, and then four of them were 48 volt, 30 amp hour batteries. And I have salvaged out of the six 100 amp hour batteries, five, and probably got them up to maybe 80 amp hours. I had to strip out some batteries and um, and then uh, the 48 volts, I have salvaged two. I'm going to probably, oh, I haven't opened the number four one yet. All the BMSs were stripped out. And basically, I can blame it on BMS failures and all of them. And surprisingly, lead time is would be a really good battery. And four of them were lead time. Let me show you one right now that I'm, the 50 amp hour battery I'm working on right now. Here's the 50 amp hour battery I, I'm working on right now. I have used my little thing that came out of a car, a little lithium ion battery, to activate these cells if they're down to zero volts, just to get them to charge and see if they'd work. And one of these cells out of the four, now this is a lead time battery. And what I've done is Dally BMS, I like smart BMSs. I use both JK and Dally. And the 12 volt batteries I put together, um, I used uh, JK BMSs because they have a, a built in balancer on them. And this one is a one amp balancer that I've added on to this. Now I'm going to put this back in the case and it's looking good. We got six milliamp uh, variation. Um, now this is a 30 amp because this is a 50 amp hour battery and so I just put a 30 amp in here because when I do a, a test on this and by the way I use these V Z tech uh, to top balance every cell that I uh, put back together put them back to 4.5 I take it down to 4 amps uh, 3.45 excuse me and uh, so anyway and this is my workbench it's good pretty darn dirty man because i chop a lot of things apart here uh, so this one will be going back in its case i have one more 50 amp hour battery and one more of these to work on this one i haven't taken apart yet and uh, hopefully i can salvage that because these are spot i mean laser welded terminals just like these these are laser welded but luckily I got this one cell. Let's see, this is four. This is was number two right here that uh, had a real low voltage, but it came back to life. I uh, I top balanced it, did a battery, you know, a capacity test, and top balanced it again. Now it seems to be working great. But it's probably not uh, 50 amp hours, it's probably 40 amp hours, which is fine for my application. I'm taking all these to Arizona, and um, I am going to be working on my system there, which I'll show you in a later video. When I go to Arizona, I go to uh, Nikola and video that about every three weeks, see what's going on there, and Lucid Motors, see what's going on there. By the time I get back there at the end of October and start doing drone shots again, I'm probably going to see some gravities, which I'm excited about seeing again. So anyway, to update my channel is that uh, would I again buy a pallet of batteries that... The reason I went there, just so you know, it was... Uh, 
They were going to charge over $500 to ship those 12 batteries to me. $500. And I paid $400 for them. 430 So I thought, I'll just drive there in my van. And uh, the diesel was uh, about $350 for me to go there. It took four days. But I really went there to go to see Mike at uh, Lithium Solar to pick up that inverter, which I am going to uh, set up an off-grid system in our Arizona place which will be a future video down the road. But so far, I have, this battery is going to be complete, and I've got one more, as I say, and hopefully it was worth the trip. Well, it was worth the trip just to even get the inverter from Mike. But and thank you, Mike, for doing that. And I want to show you the one more battery after this. Um, there's one more battery that I bought it from Amazon, the cheapest battery that was at the time. It was in... Uh, it was in June that I bought it, so and that's when I made that video just after I bought it. But the, all of them have been put in service. They're working fine. I'm, I was happy with the purchase, and hopefully I'll be happy when I get all these online in Arizona. So on with the video of the cheapest battery. It was at the time, and prices vary, the cheapest battery on Amazon for a 12-volt, 100-amp-hour battery. This is part two of my series about the cheapest batteries you can buy on Amazon. And unfortunately, the prices change every day on Amazon. I got this for $159 plus tax. Shipping was free. And I thought this was going to be the one with the BMS, but it is not. This is the smaller version of the other battery. We're opening it up to see what it's like. Double boxed. Let's open this one up here. Bear Grylls. Actually, I enjoyed watching some of his series. All right, let's open this thing up. This is a high senior, sincere battery. Lithium ion battery. Replace your lead acid. Hmm. Okay. Well, look at this. Ooh. Don't like that. M6 bolts. Mm -mm. Don't like M6 bolts on the battery. Ooh. Let's move. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Maybe. I do like that. That's a positive thing. But right now, as I looked at the Amazon today, this is not the least expensive battery. But it was at the time I bought it. We are going to do a capacity test on this. I need to charge it up fully. And I'm going to make sure that that 13.2 is 13.2. That's perfect. It's about 50% charge. While this is charging up, here are the dimensions of this battery. And here is the price as of today. And it is June the 3rd. $188 minus a $20 coupon. So it's 9.5 inches uh, the length is 9.01 inches, 5.67 inches in depth, and the height is 8.38 inches. Oh. What I like, this is not the least expensive, High Sincere is not the least expensive battery now, but um, we'll compare it, we'll see what the... Uh, when it gets done charging, what it really, the capacity of this battery really is. It says there's only 19 batteries left. Our high sincere battery is now fully charged, and we are going to do the capacity test. But it's interesting to know, well, it says it's down to 14, but that's how it levels out. But anyway, we will do a capacity test, and again, we will do...
12 amps. And this is going to run for probably six hours. We'll see. Talk to you later. We've completed our capacity test with a high sincere battery, the 100 amp hour battery. And we got 105 amp hours out of it. It took eight hours and 45 minutes. So it qualifies for the 100 amp hour exceeded it. One of the things I, I like about it, I like the smaller profile of the battery, if you, if you need that. But I don't like the 6 millimeter bolts. And the advertisement, it says it's 8 millimeter, and they're not. They're 6 millimeter. I do like that it has a, a voltage meter on it. And this is weatherproof. So is it a good value? Yeah, I got it for $159. I don't know if it's that way right now because <laughs> every day the price has changed on these batteries. But it's worth the $159. But I like the other battery better. If I did choose one or the other, I would choose the other battery, the one I did first. So anyway, there goes my test. These are going to be put. I'm going to charge this up and put it in my solar building and add it on to my 120 kilowatt hours I already got there, so I'll add five more. So thank you for watching and talk to you later.